What's up everybody? It's been a minute since I've done a lesson video, so I decided that I'm going to do that today. Hope everybody's having a good Sunday. Um, this past week I've been working with my students on some funk and disco grooves, and uh, the one I'm going to play today actually incorporates the hi-hat uh, pedal, play some open hi-hat technique. Um, so I'm going to start out with the hi-hat part. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to play eighth notes on the hi-hats, and I'm going to open on all of the ands. So that's going to look like this. So I'm going to play one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Just like that. So now along with that, on the bass drum, I'm going to play what we call four on the floor. So I'm going to play all the quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Along with this, I'm going to play the hi-hat on all the eighth notes, opening on all the ands. So those two parts together are going to look like this. One, Now for the backbeat, just simple two and four, and you bring all three parts, all four parts rather, together, it's going to sound like this. Just like that. So, um, if you bring this up to tempo a little bit, speed it up a little bit, it gives kind of that stink face, funk, disco kind of a feel. Um, and uh, it would look something like this. you lock it into the pocket there's all kinds of things you can do with it uh, one thing I would say is to start out very very slow when you are bringing these four parts together until you get used to them then start working on bringing that tempo up and then start incorporating that open hi-hat technique in some of your other groups because it can be used in a lot of different ways and it's just another accent that you can put in your bag of tricks that really spices up your groove so uh, thanks for watching as always like subscribe ring the notification bell Come back for the next video, even if you know how to play it, just because I'm cool. So we'll see you guys next time.